Welcome back. Last week, the Washington County Board of Commissioners voted three to one to appoint Linda Murray to fill the Washington County Board of Education seat, left vacant by Karen Harshman. Ron, what do you expect to see out of Linda Murray over the next few months? That's going to be a very difficult uh, call. Um, I hope it's a, a, a fresh look at working with seven board members and not trying to form an alliance with three to make a four block that tries to block everything. I, she was next in line to be appointed mm -hmm. to the school board by numbers, by the election she results. She was first loser, yes. Yes, yeah, she okay. was first loser. Um, and I would hope that uh, there doesn't become a block of four people lined up against three. That can be a disaster. And that comes in, you know, 95% of the time there was a, there was a vote 7-0. That 5% now... The 5% is everything that hits in the headlines in the newspaper. And that 5% now has got to be open and she needs to, to toe the line of being impartial to where either side can go to her to get to get them to support them and not become a block. Kind of like a couple of our county commissioners. Mm -hmm. Which they should do, but sometimes don't. Danielle, what's mm -hmm. your feeling? Well, um, I know we talked about this, I believe, a couple weeks ago, and uh, I'm a big Al Martin fan, I have to admit. Um, he, I, I voted for him and was hoping he would get this appointment. Um, however, I don't have a lot to say about Linda. I've never met her and don't know a whole lot about her background, except that she's coming in with the uh, educational experience, I believe it was like 26 years or something in, in special ed. Um, not sure if she was a teacher, or, but somehow was involved with the school system. So it's tough for me. I think that's uh, you know, a good addition. But at the same time, I was really looking forward to Al's financial background and fiscal responsibility for the board. Ken? Uh, I'm kind of along the same lines as Danielle here. I've, I was really hoping they'd pick Al Martin just because of his financial experience, and I think that would be a valuable asset to the so board. So right, right now you're saying we don't have very many, any representation of people who are experienced at reading P&L sheets on the uh, balance sheets. I mean, well, I mean, they kind of have to have experience board. if they've already been on the school board now, but, you know, I, I don't think they've had any experience outside of the school board. You know, I, but, you know, with that said, what I hope I hope that we, you know, see just, just like Ron said, that, you know, she actually, you know, makes a, a positive impact on the board and, you know, actually, gosh, wouldn't it be great if she actually helped get rid of some of the division that's on the board right now? Because, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely, you know, two sides of the board on some of the, the hot topics. But like Ron said, for most of the votes, you know, it, it's unanimous votes for the ones that make sense. I, you know, I'm really hopeful that things go good, um, you know, I, and I, you know, of course, the satire writer in me just, just kind of hopes that, you know, things go a little bit crazy <laughs> because I, then I can write about but it. But for the kids, so we honest. hope things but, go good. But for good. the kids, and I hope. Kids and parents and I hope that it goes good. Now, now, Ron, let me throw this question to you. It's a little bit different twist. Do you think with uh, Dr. Boyd Michael being in charge, that makes the job of the school board maybe a little bit easier? Because sometimes with Dr. Wilcox, Occasionally, one or two things could get churned. Remember what I said before, Dr. Wilcox, he was here to pad his resume to move on to bigger and better things. Yes. And, and you know why I'm asking you that. Then. Yes. Okay. But I do think that, uh, that Dr. Michael will, will set a, a, a different temperament there and people will work together more. But it's up to Linda to make sure that that happens. And I hope that when she runs again, she can hold her head high and say, I didn't take sides with this three or that three to make an ongoing four. I'm going to call it the way I see it and do what's the best for the kids and the staff and all of Washington County school system. Because Linda's going to be running next time along with uh, Michael Gesford, um, and that will sort of be the one side of the equation. I think uh, also we have Jackie Fisher is going to be up for re-election. Yes. In, in that sequence, and Wayne Ride an hour. Yes. Okay, so it's going to be interesting to see because now she has to re, re her campaign and, you know, she has about a year to go. Danielle, you have any feelings on what, mm. what, what do you want to see out of the school, school board? What, what, you know, she has a background in special, special ed. Do you think that's something that she's going to really petition strong with the school board? I do, and, and again, like I mentioned earlier, I think that is the, the very positive thing of her, you know, joining the team. And 
I agree with a lot of the points that you made, Ron, about you know s the history of some of the alliances that have occurred in voting in the past. Um, I don't think it all falls on her. It's it's the team as a whole, and um, really looking forward to this start of school being delayed till after Labor Day. Yeah. Woo <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not really that's done, done on our local yeah. side. That, that was from the state. Know, that's not, that's uh, not really up to, uh, up I know, to the board. I know, I know, I know. But, but that, that certainly made a challenge for the board and schedule. It's going to change a, right. a lot, yeah. and they've, they put a lot of work into getting things straight. So, out. you know, dynamics. Do do we feel that this board's going to, you know, continue to be effective? You know, it seems like things have really... I, yeah, I, I think it's either going to be really functional or really dysfunctional. I don't think there's really going to be a middle ground there, unfortunately. But don't you think Dr. Michael just brings that, elevates the uh, professionalism to a homegrown individual that is there for the best yeah. of the county? He, he's there to finish out his career and, you know, maybe go into being a professor at a college or something someday, but he's got a chance to really make an impact on this community. Well, you know, impact with the help of the school board if he if he brings them in which i think he has already done okay and with the addition of linda murray we can all hope that there's going to be a positive spin for yeah. you know not just the teachers not just the students but all of washington county because we have to train to get the kids ready for for work when we go to step out okay and on that guys i think we're going to close out uh stay tuned up next we'll have the fast five